for a small school, we have a lot of electives that we offer here in the art program. Um, so you get to take foundations of drawing, foundations of painting, where you learn the basics, you learn the mechanics of how to make something look realistic. Um, it's all leading into how to express yourself. So we have other classes like mixed media, where you get to use a variety of things like um, a linoleum block to make prints. You can do copper tooling, fiber arts. We look at altered books, collage, things like that. Um, well, I'm a very artistic person. I love to draw. I like to color. Um, Paint, I mean, just about anything I can get my hands on, I love to try it. So I figured this is a good way to get my feet wet and try it out. By virtue of having so many different electives, it lets kids sample what they're good at and try new things, and we really encourage taking risks. So anybody, no matter what your ability is, can take a class and hopefully find interests in that variety that we offer. I'm doing like a mixture of fine arts and chemistry after high school because wow. I want to do art restoration. So the goal of this is really to uh, make this little square that came from this piece match our painting to the point that it looks like it blends in with the painting. Um, the most popular class is clay and 3D, where you mostly you can build sculptures out of foam core, found objects, um, but we spend a lot of time with clay and hand building. We have a kiln, um, so you can fire your work in glaze. Um, so that's a very popular class, and we also have digital photography, which is also extremely popular, because everybody has a phone, at least, um, or some way to take pictures, and if not, the school has recently acquired some DSLR cameras, which will help give uh, students the industry standard for how to take professional quality photographs. Like